wanted to make a quick tip video for you today about what I'm seeing here in the forecast and something you should be looking for if you've been doing seeding this fall. So one of the reasons that seeding goes so well in the fall for most people is because although it may get warmer during the day, in the evening time typically it cools down a lot, you get more dew on the ground, and we've actually been in the upper 40s here for a couple evenings which has been quite a shock from what the weather has been most of the summer. But even in the 50s or those types of temperatures, that's really great for your seeding and all of that. But what you need to pay attention to is what I'm seeing in the forecast coming up here, which is not only going to get warmer during the day, seeing some 90s in the forecast again, unfortunately, but also it's going to be a lot warmer at night. Typically you can look at that south wind coming in as well, which means it's going to be bringing in more of that humid air from the south. So you need to pay attention to your watering very closely when this happens because what can easily happen overnight at 70, 72 degrees is you can have a pythium problem and you can lose a lot of grass in just one evening. I wonder how I might know that, right? Maybe it's happened to me before. But I would say definitely watch your watering if you're seeing some of these temperatures coming up at night. I would say my last watering happens around 4 p.m. here if I see any of those types of things happening with those overnight lows coming up. And I let it dry out slightly overnight to make sure that I'm not going to have issues with the ground sitting extremely wet overnight and any of those issues with pythium coming in and taking out a lot of the grass. So I know a lot of you who are probably seeding right now think, oh, I still need to water around 7 p.m. or something like that. Most of the time I don't really do this. I cut my watering off in the late afternoon and I just let that do overnight hold on to most of the moisture. What does this pythium look like and how can it be confused with some other things? Well, pythium will usually have more of a cotton-like look up on top of the surface. You can look at the grass blades, they'll usually look really brown or black and sort of melted almost like they're just gone. So that's really what you're looking for, but don't confuse this with spider webs, which also happen to be up on top of the surface a lot of times in the morning when you see dew. They're going to look a lot thinner, they're not gonna be as puffy and cotton-like, so don't confuse those two. I typically see some of these spider webs out on my grass in the morning here in the fall time. So just make sure, pay attention to those things, pay attention closely to what's happening right away in the morning with Pythium, and hopefully that will mean you don't have any major damage from it and your new grass seed will come in just like you had hoped. So if you do happen to run into a Pythium issue, what can you do about that? Well, there's only one fungicide that I really know of that will take care of that as a curative and that is Mephinoxum, but it is very expensive. Most people probably don't wanna buy a bottle of this just for a couple little issues here and there. Unless you had a really big yard and you did a huge seeding project and you just can't lose any of it, then it might be something that you wanna look at. Something like phosphites is more of a preventative method, so that's not something like Mephinoxum that you can put on and just stop that Pythium in its tracks. But I would say hopefully you have a little extra seed on hand. If you do start to see some spots that die off, then you could just go ahead with a light overseed in those spots and it might actually be a better route to go than trying to do a fungicide app. That's today's tip. When I saw that in the forecast, I wanted to make sure to let you guys know what I'm seeing here and maybe what you might be experiencing around your neck of the woods. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.